people, my name is Rage, and welcome to the grand final of the first Pro Trials tournament to be held in this brand spanking new arena of shiny gold. And gold is actually a theme today because we are going to take it to the- What are you doing out of your cage? Yeah, I thought so. I mean, home. I don't keep- I don't keep challenges in ca- in cage. <laughs> I feed them! <laughs> oh god, I'm going to jail! But yes, we are taking it to the Roman era today, and the Colosseums, and the statues, and there was a lot of gold involved, that's what the connection- I realise it's lame, but shut up, okay, Timothy? I will fucking murder you. Accept it, and let's have fun, because all four of these contenders have proven they know what to do. That's literally all they've proven. I would say they've proven that they're skilled, but I mean, honestly, the pattern last week! I'm sorry, but God! Alright, let's do this! Round one! Three! I love how they were cutting themselves down while I was waiting. Go! The pattern round begins! Let's go introduce our finalists, or at least remind you who aren't they. I like how most of them weren't even near their pattern when this started. Look at them just going for it! What ballers! I mean, finalists, guys. Finalists. Uh, the most recent finalist from last week, Christopher1997, and he has retained his combatant one sign of Haya! Because, let's be honest, that's all Link ever does, so it's really difficult to change it. Jay Gamblebee, he is going for- he's doing the entire red pattern in one go! Look at this speed! What a baller! He is combatant too, still surprisingly normal, just a cool, chilling out, normal skin. I mean, I'm happy. And then we have Sir Phyllis, who I- S still have no idea, and he's still the goddamn ultimate warrior. Well, we'll see if you win the pro trials, then I'll accept you the ultimate warrior. And then we have Glitcher, who used to be Jaseeks, but he has got a new Minecraft name since then, and he is basically cheating. So, I mean, if he is glitching, then he is obviously cheating. I am so heartily impressed at... Hang on, hang on, the impressed... Oh, no, no, that is one block from the bottom. He is really doing a great job. The pattern today, something quite... It looks quite simple, but because of, like, the corner diagonal arrangement of various different colours, it's easy to make a mistake, and it's the traditional Roman colours of purple, red, and maybe not orange so much, but shut up, okay? Accept it. Just you wait till you see what's behind this memory build. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If anyone guesses it, I'm going to be impressed with you. Yes, sir. All right, Ultimate Warrior. You don't seem to be Ultimate Warrior. Although, to be fair, everyone is doing, like, amazingly if they were in a normal round. That's why I love the final so much. Everyone is just really freaking good. Although, I have to say my money is on Jay Gamble because he is storming for it. But the Ultimate Warrior is doing a great job. It looks like Jay Gamble has made more progress because he's gone for a splash approach. But the Sir Phyllis over here is going for the fill it in as a square. And he may end up just beating him. The other two, I don't think, are in real contention. Although, Glitcher is doing doing a fine job. Our Link friend is uh, more suited to the next rounds, I would say. Alright, Jay Gamble Come on, you got this, sir. You got this. I don't know who- well, I don't really care who wins, honestly. They're all going to be fed to my pet mutated piranha monster crocodile beast, so... Honestly, I mean, all it changes is the quality of food that he gets. The winner, at least, gets a last wish, as long as the last wish isn't that he survives, because because he doesn't, and that would waste your last wish, because they are all they are all dead. Pro Trials is a serious business, as you all should know, and they really are all going to die a horrible, horrible death. Hang on, why why does three of them have a line of blue, and and that, but then over here. There's Gloucester. I think someone fucked up in the pattern building! You know, I'm gonna have to have a word with pattern guy. Yes, I have a pattern guy. And honestly, I just need to sack him on the spot. It doesn't really make a big difference, I suppose. In fact, it makes literally no difference whatsoever. But <laughs> Glitch is gonna finish and look around and think, God damn it! I cannot wait for that reaction, actually. That's quite good. Oh my god, I just realized something that Mr. Still Surprisingly Normal is basically finished. Uh, let's start looking, see if he's done a good job. Yep, that is correct. That is correct. Going in there with the curl. The purple is in the right place. The red lines are all looking good. Uh, that is going down there. He only has to place three more blocks and everything else is looking. Uh, yes, he is. He is done. He is freaking done. Is he checking? Oh, I- oh yeah! I was like, stop, he's got it right, and he actually checked better than me. I am- um, I am a disgrace, and I should apologize as such. But now I think he's done. 
Stop! Yeah, 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 I cannot see a mistake. A single mistake in his no sir So Jay Gamblebee takes round one fairly convincingly, though the others are not far behind. And we should actually have a weekly today. Defaria told me that he did actually have a weekly, and that I just didn't do it for some reason, which I was like, oh, that's awkward. And then we he, he had a go at me, because Defaria gets mad very easily. He's, he's quite a mad individual. I think maybe it's a trait of, do Australians get mad often? I'm not really sure. Round two, let's take it on higher to our ruined Roman Colosseum archaeological type dig that we have going on over here. A blank slate at the moment. I can't wait to see what our finalists add to it. Let's get it on. Three, two, one, go! And the round begins as I drift down to my glorious visage in order to add the time to the clock. Blum! Yes, my room. Why is there a hole in my room? Why is there a hole in my room? No, the illusion is shattered! Ah, uh, three minute cooldown. Boom! Apparently, I also gained arrows. I like gaining arrows. Arrows are fun. Uh, Okay, well, Glitcher is going for it straight away. That is rather impressive. Sir Phyllis also wasting no time in placing blocks. A massive tree is already... Jay Gamblebee is here to freaking win! Bloody hell, sir! Bloody hell! Christopher also doing a fantastic... Well, I say fantastic. I mean, he's placing blocks, which, compared to most round twos, is fantastic. I think this is definitely a competition between Glitcher and Gamblebee, as it stands. Although the horses are a nice idea, because, of course, we've got the chariots and everything like that. Why is he just building a tree? He's done a lot. He's doing well in the category of amount done, but I'm not sure he's doing that well in the category of creativity, which are the two things I obviously judge on. This is looking pretty cool, though. I kind of like where he's going with this. I have a feeling that when he tells me what it is, I'm going to be like, oh, it's a lightning bolt. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Two minutes left, and they're all doing a stellar job. He's actually putting gladiators in the arena, which is uh, what probably what I would have done, to be fair. I'm not sure what Christopher is building, but we will find out, I imagine, unless he keeps it from us like some dirty liar that he probably is. So dirty and so lie. That's a little bit weird, actually, now that I think about it. Should not, not call him, not call him that. That's a little... Yeah. Anyway, this cake is great. It's so delicious and nice, but there's no point counting when there's maths to do. When I look up there, it makes me glad I've got brackets, because resolving is to do. You do the timesing before dividing, and the people are glad that you got the answer. I don't actually know if I got my order of order of things correct there. I can't remember. I failed maths. We don't need to talk about it. It's fine. Ah, uh, we'll go see what the weekly state is like during the memory build, so do not threat my friends. Oh, is that a ballista? Ah, oh, he's building a ballista! That's a really cool idea. That's awesome that he's made it look like one in such a simple manner as well. Though I am loving what Glitcher is doing. Oh, this has got some gold now. Hey, chariot! There we go. Chariots, chariots. That's what he is doing. I still don't get why big ass tree. Okay. It's a lot done, I'm not gonna lie, and he's made the area look really nice, but it's not the craziest original idea. It's build a big ass tree. Though the fact he's placed this much blockage in the time proves to you that round two is entirely possible and that most people just suck. Hey oh! Oh hang on, no, is that a hand? If that's a hand coming down and, like, touching whatever this is and causing... I can't wait to hear what he says that is. I'm going to look at it and be like, oh, and I love this ballista. In fact, everyone has done a sterling job, though I think Christopher might just be on the losing streak at the moment. Has he named this horse? He has not named this horse, but he is attaching it. Five, six... <laughs> don't, you don't, you can't be done when you just have the time to do as much as you want, man. Ugh. Stop! Okay, definitely last place goes to the chariot, which honestly on another day would do fantastically. So, Glitcher, what is? I would like to know what that is. The ballista is in contention. Depending on whether this idea, this may beat the tree, because yes, it's fantastic looking. And Thor, Thor is not a... Thor's hammer and lightning. Oh, I get it, but it's not really Roman. But I do like the idea. I kind of... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do love the ballista as well. I think the ballista is a really good idea. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The fact it's not Roman bugs me. 
but it's going to be a whitewash if I give it. Well, to be fair, there's no point punishing someone for being particularly good at what they do. So I am going to give him first place, and I'm going to tie the other two in second place, because I think the Ballista is fantastic, and the Thor loses points based on it being kind of not Roman. So technically speaking, all right, both Glitcher and uh, Sir Phyllis can win if if uh, Jake Allenby does awful in the memory, but let's be honest, he's probably not gonna. But either way, I will see you now when the memory is about to begin. Ooh. We return, ladies and gentlemen, for the beginning of the memory bit. Hello. Hello. Hello there. I, I don't even. Memory, round three. Three, two, one. Go! Haha, <laughs> Sir Phyllis is like, such a tiny request! Come last, that's what I need you to do! Let the challenge begin! Down falls the sand to reveal today's memory. A statue of Zeus himself atop his golden throne, holding the golden orb with his eagle staff. Well, I suppose it should be Juno. Juno, Juno, Jupiter, Jumi, Juni, trying desperately not to die, okay? My throat is like, yo, I know you're recording, but what I need you to do right now is have a coughing fit. Please, just have a coughing fit. Ruin the video, just please cough the hell. But yes, it is a lovely statue of Juno... Oh, do, do, the Roman equivalent of Zeus on his statue. I really am happy with that. I think it looks so cool. Especially in the space given. That's the difficult thing. Wearing his golden robes. He's holding the orb, the staff. It's just ow good. And what people don't seem to realise is that there is a subtle guideline. Look, if you look at this. This is the dimensions of the memory build. So I don't know why no one... Ah, so, oh, I thought he'd, I thought he'd realised... I thought he'd realised. Why does no one see that? It's so obvious. Well, hopefully now that I've pointed it out, more people will. But we'll let them get on with that. And I will see if Defario actually does have a new weekly button. Oh, yes, it's a new preview block. When you don't know what to build for a weekly, there's only one thing that you can... Sounds like a movie trailer. Uh, really? Are you doing this to me twice in a row? Oh, just kidding. It's the actual weekly. Okay. Get mining. Hint. I will do this. You are stuck on the next page. Dig to the very bottom of the mine. Oh my god. This is going to take so long. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I killed my... I killed... Um. What? Where? What? What? I don't... What? Where am I? Where? Where? I don't understand what is happening. What is going on? Why can't I game up? Why is there a big man? What is this? What? <laughs> At least I've realized where the random equipment's coming from. That was that was a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. I feel like that wasn't wasn't part of the weekly. I feel like I wasn't supposed to die. Um, Defaria, okay. Going to do it in game mode one, I think, this time. We'll let them continue on with it. We'll have a quick glimpse as we go past. Not much going on there, but the other three are doing a sterling job, I have to say. Okay, second time lucky. Where am I? Okay, here we go. Did it Did it fail? I think it failed. Stefaria, man. Just the worst redstone you have ever seen. Just... Oh, wait, is this it? Is this the, is this the thing? Ah, this is the thing! Alright, this time I've got the power. Okay. So what happens when I dig to the very bottom? Does anything actually... Happen. I feel like I'm just being trolled. I feel like this was just her <laughs> mind for 180 seconds. God damn it, you evil Australian bastard. You evil Australian. Ah, oh, that's where I died. So I found where I died. I, I know, I know. I've got the power of uh, power of psychicness here. All right, check this out. Check this out. This is gonna be gonna blow your mind. I don't know why I got a pickaxe there. I wasn't supposed to get a pickaxe. That was. That was not what I was going for. So, Faria, how did you expect me to find whatever it is you wanted me to find in time, you crazy, crazy bastard? I'm sure there's something cool in here, but... Yeah, there's ten seconds left, so if you'll excuse me. God, the weeklies are just, you know, what are they doing? They're lazy, lazy, good for not both him and Nexus. Glitcher, not doing the best job. Stop. Well, Christopher doing a very questionable job. Jay gonna be going for the throne. And that looks like a hand with eyes. I like that. All right, let's see who's done. I think this is definitely last, I have to say. Just, I love this, though. I really like that. It. It's just, I really, I <laughs> don't know. It looks nothing like it, but I really like it. Uh, then this throne is pretty accurate, but it is 
I'm going to say it's second to last because I just look at that face. I think that's so funny. All right, let's put this second to last. Oh, that was that was the current front runner. So is it going to be... Honestly, I like that face too much. I don't care. I just really, really like it. So that is how every... Oh, it's triple third place. Four, eight, ten, three, six, nine, three, five, seven... Four, five, six, seven. So still just by one point, uh, Jay Gamelby takes the win. Uh, gets Jay, Jay Gamelby on ten points. Yes, indeed. Very, very, very close on close second, Sir Phil on nine. Sir Kate's subdubbed Sir Oggy. On fuck my life, I just can't type. All right, guys, this has been uh, the next Pro Trials Tournament Final. Uh, we will return next week with the next one. Maybe the rounds will be switched up. If you have any ideas on round switching, oh, I love Vizier statue. Look at him, he's chilling. Ah, uh, fantastic. If you have any ideas for round switcher up in this idea, you know what I'm saying. Let me know. But for now, remember to like. If you enjoyed this, it really does help me out, and that's really cool. He's just hanged himself. <laughs> Oh, what a baller. Subscribe for more. I will see you next time. Oh, goodbye.